What is up everybody, Nintendo Biggest Fan here welcoming you back to more Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red version. In the last episode, we picked Charmander as our starter and fought Gary Squirtle with it, and won because we are better than him. And in this episode, we're gonna walk in some grass, isn't that neat you guys? We're gonna walk in grass. And she's going to tell us about others' trainer tip signs, yeah, 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 blah, blah, blah. There's signs around, you can read them and learn stuff, but I know stuff, I don't need to learn stuff. Learning stuff is for nerds, like me. And that guy up there, he's nice. He's going to give us stuff. Hey, give me stuff. Hi, I work at a Pokemon Mart. It's part of a convenient chain selling all sorts of items. Please visit us in Viridian City. I know, I'll give you a sample. Here you go. And he gives us a potion, which is a health healing item. It heals 20 HP. But I believe right now our Charmander should be full. Yeah, because for some reason that battle with Gary at the beginning of the game is like the only one that automatically refills your Pokemon's health. But anyway, we don't need that potion right now because we're just too sexy. For our fat. So I didn't just say that. <laughs> what are you talking about? So we're gonna fight some stuff. So yeah, that's how random battles work in this game. There are certain types of terrains. The most common one is tall grass like this, where if you walk around in it, there's a chance you'll come across some random Pokemon. And, uh, so you can either fight it, run it away, you can try to catch it, you can do all sorts of things. Let's just kill this one. We can't catch any yet, because we don't have what are called Pokeballs. But we'll get into that later. I'm gonna scratch you so super hard. Ah. <laughs> Wow, this is going to sound really disturbing on YouTube. I hope I'm not that kind of guy that'll be awkward because your parents will come in while you're watching this and it'll be just one of those moments where I'm inappropriate. You know, it's happened to me with Nintendo Capri Sun. I'd say attacking Toucans, but he's always inappropriate, so I should have seen that coming. So what we're going to do here is, I'm going to introduce you to what's called Pokemon Centers. Now these are in almost every city, and outside a couple caves and whatnot. But basically, you can go to your PC over there and swap out Pokemon, because you can only have six on you at a time. Uh, you can go upstairs and trade, but this is an emulator. Or you can talk to this chick, and she'll fully heal your Pokemon that are currently on your party. They'll heal them back to full health, full power points, which I forget if I explained before, but each move has PP or power points. <laughs> PP. But anyway. And, uh, if you run out of power points on a move, you can't use it anymore until you go refill it. Uh, and it also gets rid of any status problems like poisoning or sleep or whatever status problem your Pokemon might have at the time. And then, up over yonder, to the left, and up your anus, we find a Pokemon Mart. Where we can spend our Poke Dollars to buy things and sundries. And condoms. I mean, uh, we're not gonna buy any of those. We don't need those for Pokemon, right? <laughs> I do know, Professor Oak. I have to do your crap. You're lazy, mister. I don't approve of lazy people, so you can just, like, ah. Fine, we'll go do your hard work. That sounded kind of like, oh no, dude. Anyway, we have to go back to Pallet Town, because Professor Oak's still in his laboratory. <laughs> I don't even remember if they actually ever tell you what it is you're giving him. Oh, they do, they do. But you'll see. I'm not gonna tell you. I'm not gonna spoil things. Don't be so silly. 
Professor Monk, where are you? Well, let's say hi to his aides. Yeah, no, it's pretty serious. Professor Oak has aides, but they're only there to help him. See what I did there? Aids. <laughs> I'm so freaking funny. You. Oh, Red! How is my old Pokemon? Oh, it seems to be going more attached to you. You must be talented as a Pokemon trainer. What's that? You have something for me? Parcel delivery. Ah, it's the custom Pokeball. I had it on order. Thank you. Gramps. I almost forgot. What did you call me for? I have a request for you, too! On the desk there is my invention! The... Uh, 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 poking schmecks! Or poking decks, that's right. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught! It's a high-tech encyclopedia! Red and Gary, take these with you. So yeah, we get a Pokedex, which is sweet nuggets. You can't get detailed data on Pokemon just by seeing them. Stupid whippersnappers with your hipping and your hopping. Oh, all right. You must catch them to obtain complete data. So here are some tools for catching wild Pokemon. Now we get some Pokeballs so we can actually catch some more and have more than just our little Charmander who's still really awesome. When a wild Pokemon appears, it's fair game! Just throw a Pokeball at it and try to catch it! This won't always work, however. A healthy Pokemon can escape. You have to be lucky! To make a complete guide on all the Pokemon in the world! That was my dream! I'm too old, I can't get the job done. So I want you two to fulfill my dream for me. Get moving, you two stupid youngins. This is a great undertaking in Pokemon history. Alright, Gramps, leave it to me. Red, I hate to say it, but you won't be necessary for this. I know, I'll borrow a town map from my sis. I'll tell her not to lend you one, Red. <laughs> Don't bother coming around to my place after this. I don't plan on it. No, actually, I'm gonna stop there to get a town wrap from his sister. Even though he specified he wasn't going to let her give me one. So, yeah. Uh, well, uh, go away. No. I keep pressing things I don't mean to. Walking in the grass is grassy. Oh my god, a wild Pokemon. We should murder its family. Or we could put it in a tiny little ball that it manages to fit in. First, you should always weaken a Pokemon before actually trying to catch it, because otherwise it's not going to be nearly as effective. Tackle me, you little bird, you. Now, oh, let's scratch it again. I'm gonna scratch you. Maybe one more scratch. Critical hit. Well, you can just eat a pie. Now I want pie. Dang it. Pokeball. You hear a bunch of clicking right now, that's me button mashing what I set to my A button because that helps you catch Pokemon when they're in the Pokeball in the real games. Gotcha! Pidgey was caught! And now we have a Pidgey, which is pretty cool. It does not like to fight, it hides in tall grass and so on, foraging for food such as small bugs. Ew, you eat bugs? Why are you Japanese? 
That was probably pretty racist. So, let's go try and catch a Rattata one. Hey, you're not a Rattata. You need to start being a Rattata. Well, go on. Be a Rattata. Fine, then. See if I care. Mr. Crumpy Puss. You there. You're a Rattata. I'm gonna start Rattata you. Charmander. Charmander. Use tail whip. Use tail whip, as Family Guy would say. I wonder if that even, like, sounded right over the mic. But anyway. Oh, God. Well, that's no good. I'm going to try and catch you and hope it works. Because if I die right now, that's going to be really, really pathetic. Alright, we've got a Radita. Wow, has it really been 11 minutes already? Well, then I guess we're actually kind of done here. Oh, here, I'll read Radita's entry. Its fangs are long and very sharp. They grow continuously, so it gnaws on hard things to whittle them down. No, I will not get rid of the to the captured Radita. And I guess that's good for right now. And I will see you guys next time on... Pokemon Fire Red. Later, you stupid little...